Today's math strategy video is on adding and subtracting fractions in word problems. Let's look at our example problem here first. It says the blue field of stars on a flag has an area of one and three fifths square yards. The red stripes have a combined area of two and three tenths square yards. What is the difference between the area of the blue field of stars and the area of red stripes? Well, if I go ahead and set this up, um, like a subtraction problem with fractions, it is going to look like this. So if I find an equivalent fraction for three fifths to have a common denominator of 10, what it would look like. And if you remember, um, sorry, my fraction bar is not perfect, but if I had three fifths here, remember that in a previous lesson, we talked about that you can multiply three fifths by two, by three, by four, any fraction, um, by another number to get an equivalent fraction. So if I multiplied by two, it would look like if I split all of these fraction bars in half. So I would have one, two, three, four, five, six, over seven, eight, nine, over 10. So it'd be six tenths. So that is, um, you know, that is a fraction that I can, I can subtract and I can kind of compare to this one, this first fraction up here because it has the same denominator. So if I erased this um, and then I would have my pen, I would have six tenths, but I still have a problem here. I've got two and three tenths minus one and six tenths. So I have a three here and a six here, and I cannot take three tenths and subtract six tenths from it. So that's why this bar model is going to come in really handy um, when trying to subtract uh, fractions like this where you're going to essentially have to borrow. So down here we have our red stripes. We have our first hole. This is our second hole. And then we have our three tenths here. Now down here at the blue field of stars, we have our other hole and we have our six tenths represented. So it's just this, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six pieces filled in. So what we have to do is just find this section right here, which is our difference here. So each one of these represents a tenth. So that's one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths. So this creating a bar model for these um, and finding equivalent fractions to subtract, this will come in handy whenever you have a numer you know, a numerator up here that's smaller than the numerator down here. We will work more on these types of problems in a later lesson. Let's look at another example problem. It says David grew one and three fourths inches last year and one and five inches this year. Estimate how much he grew in the two years. Well, I know that um, one and five eighths is about one and a half and one and three fourths. I know that this will obviously be two and a half plus three fourths is probably going to get me another one and one and a fourth. So I would say about three and a fourth. Um, that's what my estimate is going to be. So we'll find exactly how much he grew. But what we're going to do is we're going to use a um, number line. So what I'm going to do, is, since I know that it's probably going to be over three, I'm going to have this number line go to four. Okay, and so then I'm going to represent my one and three fourths. So here's one, two, three, one, and one, two, three fourths. Now I'm going to make sure that um, I can represent my one and five eighths. So I'm going to divide this into eighths now. Eight. I'm going to count these and make sure. So I have from zero, I have one eighth, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And remember, you start your eights over at each hole. Okay, so right here, this would really now be one, one and one, two, three, four, five, six. One and six eights. So now I'm going to add my one and five eights. So let's add the five eights first. So this would be um, one eight, two, three, four, five. Okay, now I'm going to add another hole, and another hole would be a whole set of eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right here would be um, this one represents, let me label this, the one and three fourths, and this represents my one and five eighths. And it stops right here. So that would be three and one, two, three. Three and three eights. So let's um, check ourselves here. So we have uh, one and three. Uh, well, it's one and, sorry, we need to use our equivalent fraction now. One and six eights plus um, one and five eights. So that would be 11 eights and then two. And then we are going to divide 11 divided by eight would be uh, one and three eights plus two. That is three and three eights. So one, uh, three and three eighths, three and a fourth. I would say that that's uh, pretty close. So three and four eighths would be would be half. So it's just a little less than half. So I would say our estimate is pretty good. That is the end of today's math strategy video.